What's up, guys? It is colder than your ex-girlfriend's heart. I'll tell you that. It's a uh, wind chill of like negative one outside. And it snowed about three inches last night. Yuck. Yuck. But. You know what the worst part about living in Iowa is? It was 50 like six on Saturday. And then it got cold on Sunday, and Sunday night we got that. Big ol' honking fucking garbage shit. So today we're gonna go over a few things. We're gonna go over, um, one, how to save, uh, it's gonna be kind of a bunch of stuff. How to save big on your drift build, how to save big when you're drifting, and how to save yourself and not spend a whole bunch of money when one thing goes wrong. Um, so we're gonna start with that one. How to save, how to, know kind of what to expect when drifting and uh, the kind of things you can kind of get with uh, you know a little bit here and there paychecks that's one good thing about winter that's when I stock up my parts that's when I stock up on you know the, not only build but stock up on spare parts so some of the stuff I get and we're gonna be changing some of them um, you know got spare you know throttle body gasket um, Stuff to change the turbo, these are those lock pins. Definitely get these when you're changing your SR turbo. They come in pairs of two. Come on, there you go. They come in pairs of two. Um, obviously I got four. Um, but what they do is they go on the studs of that turbo and you lock that pin so those nuts don't come off. That happens on everyone's SRs. And if you don't have those and that happens, I don't feel sorry for you. It sucks taking these out. Um, I get... Uh, I mean, throughout the year, I kind of, I replace them, a lot of them, um, V-band or uh, T-bolt clamps is what I use for hose clamps. I just get spare clamps, uh, different couplers and hoses, definitely have a bunch of these on hand and spare. Um, you got your spare manifold, uh, you don't really need one as a spare. I have this one, I'm not going to get rid of it because of that two manifold. I don't know if something's going to happen, so I want to have a spare just in case. Um, load up on oil. Oh, what else we got cooking? Um, spare parts like I have a spare knock sensor in here. Spare knock sensor, just kind of parts that kind of break that you know if in the middle of the drift season I don't want to um, you know drifting's already taken all my money so I don't want to you know waste any money that I don't need to so I'll get it in the winter to have it on hand I'd rather have it and not use it than um, need it already be broke from drifting already be broke because I have to repair my car and then still have to order those parts and I'm impatient so I overnight everything um, what else we got spare here? More clamps, um, math, gaskets, um, intake manifold gaskets. Get all that stuff spare. Have it on hand. It's cheap. Um, you can spread it out over two paychecks if you want. But get it and it'll save you money in the long run. Okay, so another way to save some money is, <clears throat> um, get sponsorships now and a lot of you you know you're not going to be very good i'm not i suck but you know what it's all about how you present yourself now they your uh, your sponsorships aren't going to want to sponsor somebody who can't sell themselves to the sponsorship company you have to be able to make them money now uh don't go out and try to get these huge sponsors uh stay local that's what i did um you know, work your, your your friend, you have a good friend that builds angle kits. Technic slide. Now, help them, you know, use your car as a prototype and, you know, show it off. Let them know what's good. Let people know what's good about them. Try to sell it. I mean, this angle kit has more angle, lead angle, than WiseFab. Why wouldn't you want one of these for half the cost? Now, WiseFab is a better kit. I'm not going to lie, I'll tell you that, Nick will tell you that. But, it's a great budget uh, 
angle kit when you don't want to go, you know, big hot boy with wide span. So, I mean, it is a cut knuckle design, um, you know, but it is what it is. See, there's a shameless plug there for Nick. Love you, Nick. Um, you know, products that you have, products you want, don't, don't try to seek sponsorships from stuff you, A, you don't have, B, you don't want, and C, you wouldn't recommend to somebody. Now, you know, like Eyes Up Auto Art, they sell fantastic paintings. I have a brilliant painting that he did of my car. Love it. It's actually in my living room under a centerpiece light. Love it. So, I mean, and then, you know, also build a brand of yourself. Sell yourself. Sell, sell yourself. Be confident. Um, don't go for the big companies. There's a million and one other people doing that. And, you know, don't get disheartened when you hear a no. Keep trying. Um, you know, and don't, don't di get disheartened when you get a discount. If it, 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 free parts aren't going to come around. Let's be honest. But discounts can't. You know, if they can't offer a full sponsorship, ask for a discount. And this is the time of year to start asking for sponsorships. It's the off season. You know, they, they, uh, a lot of companies only have X amount of dollars per year that, woo, did you hear that? A lot of companies only have X amount of dollars that they can spend per year on advertising, which is what this would be. So, you know, get in on it now. Start asking now before the new year starts. Because if you're asking, you know, come drift season, 150 people plus, way more than that, have already asked them. They've already asked for the sponsorship, and they probably already gave out a large sum of their money. So get your sponsorship in, stuff in now. Google search tire sponsorships. Um, you know, look at your local tire shops. Where, where do you go to swap your tires? Ask them. Ask them for a discount on changing your tires for a, a sticker on your car. And, you know, even if you're going to save let's say eight bucks a tire uh, with that sponsorship, that's gonna save you a whole lot of money by the end of the year. All right, now, before we get off the topic of buying stuff, um, buy stuff when it's cheap. In the winter, go to Walmart, you know, when you're first starting off, you know, get your used tires. You can get them, a lot of them, you can get a lot of them for free um, at, uh, you know, tire shops where they're taking them off, look for a good tread, ask you to take them, take them. Um, otherwise, you know, look at Walmart. Buy clearance tires. Walmart has a section where they do clearance tires. Um, don't know what the reason of them is for a lot of them. Um, some of them are just because, you know, they're uh, getting, A, getting old. They've been on the rack. Um, these ones are newer. Um, but it's uh, because they're not selling a whole lot. So or it's a size they're discontinuing or a brand or something. So, you know, these, I got for 30 bucks a piece, I got four. Um, I bought all they had. I got, you know, I got four of those. I got two of these. Um, those are ones I picked up at a um, junkyard, actually, a U-Pullet. They're like a brand new, uh, or I think they're a Nexon. Yeah, brand new Nexon. Great tires, nice tires. Um, bought these on a Black Friday deal online from Walmart for the trailer. Great deal. And I actually just got two more Generals at Walmart that were on clearance. Um, those ones were 35 bucks a piece. So, I mean, at 30 bucks a tire, you're not going to go wrong. There's nothing wrong with buying $30 Walmart tires if you're just going to drift them. There's no issue with it. Don't worry about it. Um... Now, that's all I'm going to say about buying stuff. Buy cheap, you know, don't, <clears throat> in, in, in some aspects. You, you're, I mean, you guys are smart enough to know where not to cheap on. Um, I have a video on that. Don't cheap out on your, um, your safety equipment. Uh, next thing, though, when you're buying, um, you know, like drift spares, um, find them online. You don't need high dollar wheels. Um, I got a bunch of XXR. I got four XXRs. One was cracked, so it was a total of three. I got for fifty bucks. Um, I mean, look for those kind of deals, and you're gonna you're you're gonna be fine. The next thing, <clears throat> um, build as much as you can for your car and make your own. Um, these lips. This is something built uh, by myself. 
Um, really cheap, nice accent look. The wing is homemade. The ends are homemade. The only thing not is the deck. Um, exhaust, made myself. Um, harness bar, uh, made myself. Rear seat delete cover, made myself. Um, and bash bar, um, I actually had somebody made it. I didn't have the bender or anything like that. Um, a whole lot cheaper than buying yourself, uh, than buying one. So build that or have a buddy make one. Um, but just do with what you got. I mean, if it's a drift car, for instance, you know, I'm not, I didn't care. You know, I got a grill that's got broken tabs. We zip tied it on. No issue. Doesn't bother me. It shouldn't bother you if it's a drift car. Um, but build as much as you can when you're when you're building your car um, the next thing is don't be afraid to buy used um, a big one where a lot of people can save a lot of money and I'll buy them all the time if I find them and I'll do a video on how to do one um, if you guys want you know let me know down below but uh, coilovers a lot of people want coilovers they're pricey here's how you get them for cheap buy them seized <clears throat> um, a lot of people don't think you can uh, unseize them or people don't want to so they're selling for cheap. These are Megan, Megan, whatever the, how the hell you say it, 32 way adjustable uh, coilovers with a damper on the top, I mean all that. They were seized. You know, all, I took them off, I PB'd the heck out of them, I hit it with a hammer back and forth, back and forth, barely moving. I didn't think I was going to get them until it finally broke free and they're perfectly working now. I keep them oiled. Um, you know, and what are they new on eBay? Like 900 bucks or something like that. And you could, you could pick up a C set for 300 at most probably. I think I've seen some for even all the way down to, you know, 200 bucks. So don't be afraid to buy used and you know stuff like that, like coilovers. You can always unseize them. You can always unseize them. You can always unseize them. Don't spend super crazy amounts on coilovers if you're just getting into drifting or you're not fantastic yet or a lot of people don't even understand the geometry of suspension. I didn't. Shout out Nick. I love you buddy. He actually helped set up the suspension on this at a, the last drift event. Now carrying on with styling and looks, um, uh, don't be afraid to buy a used cracked body kit for a few reasons. A or one, they're cheap. If you go, this is for styling. One, they're cheap. Two, it gives you an option to learn how to fiberglass and do body work. Um, it's a cheap option to make it look good. Um, I mean, in learning how to do your own body work, you know, on smaller stuff like fiberglass is really easy to learn on. Um, is really not, not only going to boost up your uh, garage mechanic uh, morale um, or your garage mechanic resume. We're going to fix that. I think <laughs> that's just glue just some body panel glue I use to make through the through the year um, but don't be afraid to buy broke body kits I mean you can find them cheap everyone's got broke ones um, and you can fix them now what I want to do and this is a sh this is to you KBD I would really like to go KBD I'd like to spend the money one time and be done with it um, but I, they, right now, I don't think they have a Koki front end uh, front bumper. I'd really like to get it. And then I know they're doing fenders right now. That would be so sick. Come on, Irving. I'm calling you out, KBD. Get this Koki stuff going. Um, but, you know, broke body kits are not a bad thing. You can fix them. Even if you glue them together. That's one cool thing about owning a drift car is if they're cracked up and they're zip tied. Nobody cares. Their first reaction is, oh, it's a drift car. So, it's not bad. One of the last things I got, um, and I've actually got a few questions on, is the diff uh, on these cars uh, for drifting. A lot of people want to run um, an LSD just because they're scared. I don't know why they're scared of the um, welded diff. You're not going to notice a welded diff unless you're in tight corners uh, your parking lot or something like that um, mine don't howl it's perfectly fine um, 
So now by, by welding them, you're not only saving yourself hundreds of dollars, uh, but you're also saving yourself. I've seen people with LSDs who, you know, throw it into a corner and the LSD will unlock and now you're only spinning one wheel and I've seen them put it into a wall or heard of people, you know, ruining a tandem and then ruining an entire car because of that. So, you know, weld your diff, you'll save money. And it's not a bad, I mean, you're not going to notice it. I've seen, what have I seen? I've seen stuff all the way down from, um, it howls, it makes a lot of noise to, um, I'll get bad gas mileage. I don't know where that got, came from to, it wears out my tires where, let's be honest, if you're welding your diff, you're wearing out your tires anyways. So let's be real here, guys. Now we're nitpicking. We're nitpicking. Weld your diff. It's not a big deal. Last but not least, have fun. It's your car, it's your build. Go loud! A lot of people don't like this. I love it! Go loud! It's your interpretation of your car. Have fun with it. Don't put fake vents on it. I don't support fake vents. I support underglow. Rice is nice, sometimes. Um, up to a certain extent, we'll go with that. Um, but. Have fun with it. Have fun with your build. Build it with your friends. One of the best things about this car, I can say, is the friends I've made building this car, the friends I've made helping with their builds, uh, questions, is beyond everything else. Um, you know, when you're building a drag car, a lot of people, like I said, they want to keep hush-hush. They don't want to, you know, let their secrets out or anything like that. Um, or you don't want to let your secrets out. But building a drift car, everybody just wants to have fun. Everybody wants to bang on your door. So don't spend too much on the way it looks. Don't spend too much on, you know, prepping for drifting. Just go out and have fun. That's all it's about, guys. And the one good thing about winter, um, the one good thing, it is build season. You can always rebuild um, in the winter. And it's one of those things that you can, I mean, it's a, it's a project, guys. And we all know they're never done. But, you know, you can build slowly and get the way you want it without, you know, dumping it all right now. So, let's, you know, build your own. Find some sponsors. And if you guys want to see something on that, let me know. Um, I can kind of go into more details on that. Um, shop on Google. That's another thing. Like, uh, my harnesses. These same harnesses, I, I, I typed in the RJ5 point in pink, you know, you type it in on Google, and then you can actually hit the compare prices and find a whole bunch of them and find the cheapest one that is still an SFI certified. If I wouldn't have done that, I'd have spent about, I think, $35 more a piece on these than I actually needed to. Google is not bad. It's your friend. It can save you money. So, I don't know. Buy parts, um, stock up when you uh, when you can. Don't spend it all in one time. Buy used, fix yourself, build yourself. Um, don't be afraid to kind of do a hack job kind of thing. If it if it works, it works. You know, for instance, these. We'll see if we can see it through here. Ah, you can see that. Oop, it's focusing. But right in here, there's a piece of metal, um, and it actually bolts to the frame of the car and it kind of helps pull this out and helps with that so I don't know build your own buy cheap buy used fix yourself and you're gonna have a whole lot of fun and you know, have fun and find your find good friends to help build talking video I know y'all hate them but it is what it is like comment subscribe share with your friends get some build season going let me know if you got a channel follow, drop it down below i always love finding new channels i love finding new drift vlogs uh build vlogs so if you got one drop it down below have fun building let me know if you're willing or want to uh get on the iowa racers page i want to do a whole bunch of those this winter and keep on sliding guys